so here we have it, the HE3D Mega Delta 3D printer. And uh, this thing is obviously pretty uh, big in the sense that you can see right here, these are going to be our uh, pieces that are going to hold up the printer. So it's going to be quite, I think it's yeah, larger than the camera can even see right now. So this printer is going to be pretty large. Anyway, uh, I'm really excited to get this printer going and uh, installed. It is a DIY do-it-yourself printer, but the price is right for what I need it for. It is a 280 millimeter by 600 millimeter printer. It's going to be great for printing vases and, and any kind of a, of, a, of a tall print of any kind, really. I, I want to go ahead and get to unboxing these different pieces. Uh, one other thing I do want to say about this printer is it is a Bowden style printer and, and from what I've seen the quality on these Delta printers is phenomenal and the speed is, is, is insane. So one of the main reasons I'm excited to have this printer is because uh, after opening up these other 3D printers that I have here behind me and I, I've, I've printed different vases and different things, my wife has gotten kind of a, a knack for 3D printing as well. She sat down, has been doing a YouTube blender tutorials and learning the blender program. She's created a lot of different vases. Um, that's one of hers right there, the red one. And basically I'm going to give this printer to her so that she can just go crazy and print as many and, and, and as large of vases that she she wants to. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start unboxing these different pieces and then we'll get this printer together. You can see the, the build of it as well as the end. Uh, I have some wood filament right here. So this wood filament is going to be really cool. I can't wait to print some different things with that and show you what that looks like. Uh, really, this printer is going to be a fun thing to build. I'm really excited to do it. One thing I'm also happy about is that all these boxes are labeled with stickers. So it's got like a, a, a sticker number one, sticker number two, sticker number three, you know, number four, five, six, seven. So I, I can open up the boxes as I need to while I'm building the printer, which just makes this a very nice DIY build. A lot of times when you get these printers, they come with a thousand little packets. As you can see, if you watch any of my other 3D printer builds that are DIY, uh, often, you know, sometimes you don't get directions for them. So uh, this one right here makes me really, really happy. I really want to thank the engineers behind this, 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 this 3D printer here, the HE3D uh, K280. It is the K280 Delta printer. All right, so as I said, we're going to get this guy going right now. If you guys are interested in checking out my channel, I do got to say I have a Patreon. If you want to check out that, you can uh, support the channel below. And it really helps me out, helps me continue making videos like this. Lastly, if you have a, a passion for talking to other people who are into virtual reality or 3D printing or drones or just into technology, you can jump into the Discord link that's there in the description below. And by jumping in there, you can talk to either myself or other friends. And we love either playing games or talking about 3D printing problems, just, just anything to help people out. So, uh, all right, that's my spiel. Let's get into the 3D printer. All right, let's do it. Opening up box number one has our cables, our extruder, our box number two has box number three has box number four, box number five, our motor, box number six, box number seven. Check it out. here pretty well. We are uh, going to go ahead and finish putting this guy together. It does come with a couple different nozzles as you'll see right here. It comes with a 0.2, a 0.3, a 0.4, and a 0.5 millimeter nozzle. Uh, on it, it already has the 0.4, so I'm just going to keep it that way. Uh, it's just nice to have those extra ones if we need them. So we're going to go ahead and put this guy back together. 
looking pretty fly, huh? It's, 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 it's ginormous. All right, so we've just completed the build here of the HE3D K280 Delta 3D printer. Uh, that is a little bit of a mouthful. Uh, but uh, I'm excited to have it done. The very next video, we're going to go ahead and jump into printing the max size that we can with it. And uh, before we go ahead and end this video, I just want to show you guys kind of how I finished the build, just in case you're wondering about that. And, and the size here is just outstanding. I mean, you can see that uh, a vase I printed on a different printer. I mean, realistically, you can print, you know, double the size of, of that one. It's just, it's just insane how tall you can actually print with this printer right here. What I like about this printer is it actually has an attachment here so that when you want to level the, the Z axis, it just uh, you put this piece on and you can level it just when it touches the bottom, it'll just touch that. You can go ahead and pull that guy off. And uh, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get to that in just a moment. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the printer so you can see for yourself what I've done to it. All right, so here we go. Just gonna walk around it right now. We've got the bed temporarily for right now until I get some actual clips. I've just got some tape holding it onto the heat bed. You can see underneath there, you can actually kind of see the motherboard and then uh, everything else right here. I've got it disconnected for the moment. Uh, after I connected everything, I wanted to go ahead and do some other tests. So um, what I've got right here is the extruder piece and you can see that's where the filament is gonna go ahead and just go into right there. And then from up here, up here at the top, I plan on adding a filament spool holder. So there is gonna be actually the spool holder up on top there. So I might end up flipping this guy around once I do that. We'll go ahead and decide that later on. One thing you can tell on the printer right away is I did print out some red fancy feet for the bottom. These uh, fancy feet will go on pretty much any Delta style printer that's out there. And I like how it just keeps it off the ground. It just makes the printer look a little nicer and uh, like I said, it, it keeps it off the ground a bit, which I think is, is a nice thing to do. Uh, over here, I've gone ahead and also printed some red brackets to hold the power supply. And I do plan on getting myself a MOSFET, uh, M-O-S-F-E-T, uh, power supply unit piece for uh, uh, the hotbed. And that's going to, of course, just help out that motherboard down there a little bit. Plus, I do want to also update this power supply from the 24 amp to a 30 amp. That way I can just uh, power all the lights and the Raspberry Pi off it once I do upgrade that. But for right now, I've got it sitting on the back like that. You can just see this whole printer is just, this printer's huge. This printer is huge. Oh man. All right guys, like I said, stay tuned for the next video when I print this thing to uh, maximum size. I'm gonna print the biggest vase that I can with it as well as some other things and we're gonna get some time lapses with it. And uh, anyway, this thing is freaking crazy. If I put it on the ground, it comes right up to here. comes right up to here. That's crazy. I put the spool holder on it. It's going to be freaking ginormous.
Get ready for some exciting stuff happening right now. That's right. 